In previous videos, we've discussed that provided that the wild pig meat is prepared to 165 degrees internal temperature, there are no known diseases that can be transferred through the consumption of wild pigs. It's the processing, handling, and being in the same areas where wild pigs are that can actually be a little bit more dangerous. We're going to need our nitrile or latex gloves. Uh, we're definitely going to need some eye protection that like I have on today. Uh, now some of the tools that we're going to need to, to get into this pig, for one, you're going to need a pretty stout, longer buck style knife um, or, or any knife, you know, processing type knife that, that you can utilize with a little bit longer blade. The other thing that I've found to be very, very helpful um, when dealing with wild pigs is, or just processing animals that you hunt in general, is just a standard box blade. It doesn't have to be the fancy hunter orange kind or anything like that. Uh, just one that you can pick up at your local hardware store um, will work really good with a fresh blade in it. Now with that said, um, we're going to get into this wild pig and I'm going to demonstrate a, a very simple and quick technique um, that we can utilize to minimize our contact with, with the bodily fluids of the wild pig and also be able to, to enjoy uh, some of the very best portions of this animal. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the backstrap. I think the name of the game when we're handling wild pigs, processing wild pigs, controlling wild pigs, is, is we want to take steps to minimize the risk as much as possible. Um, this is just a, an example of one of the ways that we can minimize risk with wild pig contact should we choose to process these animals. Um, again, it, it's probably a better idea just to take it to a processor, um, but there are times in the field where, where this may be necessary, particularly on warmer days and particularly on times when, when we have uh, large numbers of pigs that we've removed through techniques such as trapping. For more information about wild pigs, their impacts, and how to effectively reduce populations, please visit our website at wildpigs.nri.tamu.edu. Thanks a lot. <music>